Ah, yes, the beautiful weather is back. Oh, I'm ex Morgs, you excited for this? Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yes, we are outside playing again today. Warm weather. I mean, it's mid 60s today, uh, but from here, it just whew, mid 70s whole way. It is going to be beautiful weather, though. Oh, look at all the chicks. Even the chicks are out playing today. Everybody's out today. So it's perfect with the warm weather coming up. I got, uh, I'm going to get that garden going. Um, went and got some potting soil from Lowe's. They had a very convenient way of ordering online. You just drive up and then they load it into your truck and then you go so you don't have to do anything. Uh, it's fantastic. They are actually doing their spring Black Friday sales. What's up, little chicks? How you guys like being outside? They're just loving it, just settling right in. Anyways, Lowe's has the spring Black Friday going. Home Depot canceled theirs. Uh, obviously with the conditions going on, not sure why they'd cancel it. Cause you're still open. You're still selling. So interesting move by home Depot, but it's for the safety of everybody else. I get it. Uh, so yeah, so we went with Lowe's, got the potting soil. Um, so we're going to get that in. Um, we have a lot of tomatoes, lots of tomatoes going in and with tomatoes, you use the, the cage. So that way when it grows straight up, the tomatoes don't break off. The plant doesn't break off. It kind of you can pick the tomatoes easier. Lost the lettuce back there, dang it. Strawberries are coming in great. Look at those. The onions, fantastic. But anyways, uh, so when you get the tomatoes, you usually use these little cages. Well, when you have, how many seeds do we have? We have 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 tomato plants, I think, which is a lot. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them all. Probably gonna give some away. Uh, found a, a good option for it how we're gonna how we're gonna plant the tomatoes and let them run up and do their thing so we got to get that into place i got to walk around the guy that was here before that owned this property was just a slob just threw trash everywhere you walk like the fence line he would just throw trash to the other people's property just crazy but somewhere in there there's a lot of t posts fence posts uh, that I'm going to use actually for the garden to build the tomato thing. So I got to walk around and see if I can find like three or four of them. I know I've seen them here before. So we're going to go find those first, get those in. We got to mow the yard later. Uh, lots of stuff. It's a busy day. Busy day, Mark. You ready? Are we going to work? So funny. Cattle dogs, man. They just want to work. That's all they want to do. They want to work and just do their job. Good dog to have. She's settling in just fine. I'm very proud of her. Getting frustrated with her for a while, but she's settling in, settling in just fine, huh? Plenty of fence. If I ever need fence, could always dig it out of here. We got our first peach. We got one, two, three, four. We got peaches. Plums, not so much. Oh, those tulips, look at how pretty they are. Planted these bulbs. How do we plant these bulbs? I think we planted them just before winter, I think. Man, they came out they came out fantastic. There's some other stuff in here that we planted bulb-wise. You can see it starting to come up. So we got those popping up. We got all of these, these are all like daylilies. These are all just natural. Last time they sat here and they whacked all of these things. They came by and we did like weed control because they do trimming all along here, uh, the county does and they got rid of all this so hopefully they leave that and don't touch that this year uh, and then we got more tulips fantastic man they look great not bad for tulips and just natural clay then over here we threw a bunch of seed down wildflower seed uh, so we should start to see that stuff sprouting up uh, hopefully this whole hillside will just be covered with wildflowers tracy and the mother-in-law spent a lot of time cleaning up this hill try to make it look nice uh, so i'm hoping that grows in and just the you know, it should just be a pretty colorful, like, hillside. Let's go, Morgs. Come on. Here's one. Broken. That's all right. It'll work. We got two. Two. Need one more, Morgs. One more. Can you find us one more? Well, that one's kind of tweaked. Might be able to make it work. Why not?
So I think we're gonna let this dry out. That is really wet, really tacky, really wet. It's a nice day, let it dry out, warm enough. Maybe we can introduce the potting soil later, the garden soil and mix it in. Maybe we'll wait till tomorrow, I don't know. See what it does, see what it does. We're not in a rush, not in a rush at all. Whew. You got a lot of plants to put in though. My goodness, these are all, yeah. need water. Water the plants. Found out why the peppers aren't growing. We're gonna change that. All right, so we got the, the lawn mowed. Looks great. Planted some new seed in some areas that need seed. Uh, looks really good. Uh, the shade is perfect right now. Just that's how we thought it would be for this. So it would be perfect. It'll have just enough light throughout the day. Uh, just keep tilling it. It's still it's it dried out. Now it's a, it's a little damp. I took um, the ash from the burn pile and mixed it in here. They say that's good to have. You think of like forest fires and stuff. How good stuff grows afterwards. Uh, it takes some of the acidity out of the soil. That's ready to go. I think I'm gonna let this dry overnight. Then we'll add all the potting soil tomorrow. Neighbor was nice enough to give me a calendar and it's got like planting dates on it, like when the good times to plant in the ground is. Um, planting dates based on, on the moon. And what days to plant and what days not to. So that's kind of cool. That was very nice of her. So I'm gonna use that and then we're gonna get this garden growing. That's it for now. What do we got? Is that where you put it on it? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know. I've never. So that way you can see the you can see Anna and Elsa when it goes up. We're gonna. We can't have instant gratification anymore. We're social distancing. We gotta take our time. You just run and throw it. God, you you freaking kids just forgot how to be kids, didn't you? No, I haven't flown a kite since I was like. Those things came along, ruined you. Tell her. Okay. Sorry, squits. Oh my. Look at she knows what to do. Let's go ahead. There it goes. Keep running. <laughs> Doing great. <laughs> Look, you got it up there. You got that way more string out. Yeah. Whoa. Make things a little bit easier for her right now. All right, ready? Till we get like enough line out. It's broken. <laughs> Dang, it's like you got a big fish, huh? Doing good. Pull it, pull it. Good job. Good job, girl. It's crazy that it takes all the social distancing and stuff for us to play with the kite. Stuff we used to do when we were kids. Now you gotta figure out ways to keep kids entertained and get them out of the house and quit playing on the electronics. So, got ourselves a kite. Anna and Elsa, flying high.